Greetings. In this video, we'll be learning case analysis using Pacardi framework as proposed by Winston et al. 2020. The full form of Pacardi here is P for problem identification, A for alternatives, C for criteria, the other A is analyzing, D is for decision and I is for implications or implementation. Now let's learn it in detail. So if we have to draw it in the frame, we have this kind of a template. It is easy to visualize here that it consists of six steps, which is basically the different Pacardi alphabets that we have. So this is P for problem identification or problem definition. Step two is listing out all the different alternatives. Now here you see that there are four alternatives mentioned, but you may have three to five alternatives. That is the optimal way of analyzing case. C is step three, which is criteria. So you have here five criteria, but you might have more or less criteria. Now you see here percentage. This is the weight for each criteria that you want to give based on the case. Step four is analyzing the alternatives. So how do you analyze these alternatives? Against each criterion, you need to analyze and score each alternative. So in this cross sections, you have to have certain scores. And in step five, we'll choose the one alternative which has the highest score in these boxes. That becomes your decision. In step six, we would write using theory, what should be the different steps to implement this particular decision. Now let's understand it with the help of an example of a case. And this is the hypothetical case. The case title is Jordan's strategic dilemma. It's based on a protagonist, Lisa Jordan, and she's facing certain dilemma. As you can read here, this is about the company, the mission statement, vision statement, and the different core values of the company. And of course, about Jordan. So it tells you about the personality of Jordan in totality. So this is a short case. You can also call it a micro case. Here, this is how you can use the Pacardi framework to analyze this case. So in step one, you identify the problem. The problem here is that Jordan faces the critical decision on whether to prioritize immediate ethical responsibility, recalling a flawed product, potentially harming its financial performance and reputation, or to delay the recall, risking customer safety for short-term stability and competitive advantage. So this is one problem. Ideally, it should be in one sentence. In step two, you would like to mention the alternatives that are already given in the case. For example, the first alternative and the third alternative are already there. But you might also like to mention the second alternative, which is beyond the case. So what you are basically saying here is it's not explicitly mentioned, but it could also be a possibility, right? So this is uh, something, a path in between A1 and A3, right? Now, all these criteria that you see here as the part of step three, customer safety, financial stability, brand repute, these basically come from the case as to what exactly are the parameters on which these alternatives need to be scored. And their weights also come from the case. For example, we see the case it is quite explicitly provided that the company mainly 
it's very concerned about the safety of its consumers right and also they are about transparency and things like that so if that is the case we have to give more weight to customer safety right which is 40 percent here then comes financial stability and then of course brand repute is 30 percent right now of course these are subjective you might say 50 percent 20 percent etc but in total it should be 100 percent now for each alternative we need to score regarding these parameters so customer safety this alternative stands at 40 how do we know that because whatever we are doing is for long term as you see here long term means more than one or one year so you see here they prefer integrity innovation accountability customer centricity right so whether they should have the parameters which are for long term or for short term it depends on the mission vision and values of the company so here it is quite clear from the case that it is for long term that the company is bothered so all these parameters or criteria are basically for the long term so we have scored this based on the urgency and also the significance of doing it now how do we know what is the significance it is based on the fact that if you do not take that step what is the consequence okay so if the consequence is really worse of course it is more significant for you to take that step now out of these three alternatives we see that alternative one scores highest which is 95 and that's why we have chosen to go with alternative one which is step five that is we have finally decided that we'll go with alternative one so if at all you are going with alternative one the next question immediate is what are the different steps that you are taking in order to implement this decision right so here i have said refer effect appendix two so appendix one is about the criteria and their importance appendix two is about the different steps that you take and this particular table requires you to have theoretical understanding so here you will have to apply a theory into the case that is practice so you see here the different steps you can take you can take these steps only if the protagonist who is jordan here adopts transformational leadership style so each of the dimension of transformational leadership style matches with these steps right so it is important for lisa to adopt transformational leadership style now a question might be asked specific from a particular course in that case you have to go with that particular theory so this particular column belongs to the theory column okay and this tells you excerpt from the case as to how it can be implemented right so connecting theory with case is very important in order to arrive at these steps that's it thank you